Life beckons. Choose wisely. Hey, welcome back to Jez Beer Reviews. Finally get to try this beer. The Dogfish Heads 60 Minute IPA kindly sent to me by Swill and Grog from Swill and Grog's Wonderful World of Beer. There's Swill up there. Now, this beer, it's famous as famous. Uh, Sam Calagione, who started the brewery there, Dogfish Head, I used to uh, have a DVD actually when he, um, like, off centered ales for off centered people. That was the ringtone they had going there for a while. Um, pretty sure now he has joined up or sold a portion to the Boston Brewing Company, which obviously makes a Samuel Adams these days, which always has their uh, flagship beer. Anyway, uh, so the 60 minute IPA, a sticky beak, uh, why this 60 minutes? So they're doing continuous, continuous hop additions for 60 minutes of the boil. Okay, and the way they do it, there's a couple of photos here, they're kind of like vibrating hops, and it's going down, I don't know, there's an old, must be an old game or something, little platform there, it vibrates down, and um, like rolling marbles down the, uh, down the driveway. And the hot pellets go and they enter the boil and they're continuously getting hopped. And he, he kind of says that the idea is you're not getting a real bitter bomb and you're getting that nice kind of hot flavour. So uh, instead of just dumping them all at the start and uh, towards the end, like you normally do, you just slowly feed them in there, which is a cool idea and definitely something I'd want to try down the track. After 13 long years here on YouTube, Jez Beer Reviews finally has a sponsor. That's right. It's good times in Canada. Good Times and Co, 100% Australian known. They sell men's, ladies and children's apparel, plus all the good stuff. Check them out today. What is this? It's, um, it is 12 fluid ounces, and this is a 6% ABV. Right, eh? It's cracking. Using this, uh, the old Sanctus glasses, They're different ones now. It is a gorgeous beer, that's for sure. Uh, I will say IPA has never been my favourite style, but uh, some IPAs I have, I'm like, oh, they're pretty good. I don't mind the hazy, I don't mind the East Coast. And this is, I suppose, yeah, he, he does brew on the East Coast, don't they? So where he's located, is it, is it Delaware? What have we got? Nice golden colour. We've got a good over two finger head, and it looks like it's going to hold, especially this is like a uh, kind of a headmaster glass and will keep a head going as well as you can see it has, it has the etchings uh, inside the bottom of the glass right oh the aroma you can see you get a lot you get citrus pine and also herbal it's, it's just really grassy it's got all those it's got a lot going on a lot going on. Well, I understand these days it's probably seems like with IPAs they just got bigger and bigger and bigger and got heavier and stronger and bitter. And uh, this this one they pretty much call this like a, for a lot of IPA lovers like a, a session beer for a craft lover, so or craft IPA lover. But it does have a beautiful, beautiful appearance. Right, I let's get into it. Cheers, you all. And uh, big cheers to Swill and Grog. Geez, that's a that's a really well made beer. Exactly how they describe it. They don't want a bitter bomb. They want a kind of drink ball. They want a bit of bitter, but they don't want a bitter bomb. What a neat, unique process being created there. Very cool indeed. Get a beautiful malt, that nice light toasted sweet malt flavour there, maybe a bit crackerish. Um, the hops kind of follow the nose, it's, it's herbal, the earthy, citrusy, touch of pine. It's got all those colour, it's got all those flavours. I wouldn't say the citrus is definitely not dominating at all, it's got all those flavours. It really is. I had a can of Swilling Rock sent me two cans. I had a can last night. Uh, and it won't be yesterday. I just, just, uh, just sat and sipped it. And 
I was really looking forward to reviewing it actually because it's a really well made beer and having it now, having it tasted yesterday, uh, really been able to appreciate the flavour. Has a medium body to it. Has a bit of bitterness in the back, but they're done well. The, the like that unique process. I will put the link to the video down there that's uh, that's on their website, and just have a look yourself the way they do it. It's really cool. <laughs> you gotta love innovation. I certainly do. It's it's fantastic to see. And he's been doing it for a long time, so that technique. But you know. It's, it's, it's a great product. It really is an easy drinking IPA, and I'm going to say that's really a gateway IPA for me. Uh, easy drinking, a little bit of hot there, lingering. It's got a few different flavours going on. It's got a beautiful malt base. So. I really like it. And having it again, I really appreciate it. So, sessionability. Yeah, you can session that. You can at six percent. You probably have three, four cans. Very, yes, very good, very good IPA. Well done. And it's, I'm, I'm glad that it's, it's it's as good as I imagined it'd be. Because I was a bit of a fanboy of uh, Dogfish Head. I think most people are. Um, I think everyone kind of dreams is into beer. You'd love to have your own brewery and be successful. But I suppose you've got to offer something unique to the market. And Sam definitely done that dogfish head. The things he's done there and definitely uh, had his own twist to it. So uh, thanks, Sam, for making this beer and the cool way you do it. And uh, big thanks to Swill and Grog. So a score for the dogfish head, 60-minute IPA. I'm going to say it's absolutely, it's outstanding. Outstanding beer. If you can find it in Australia, go and try it. Uh, it's all the money. that's lace in the glass. Holding that head. What more could you ask from a beer? It's done its job. I'm satisfied. So thanks for watching the episode of Jez Beer Reviews. Till next time, you guys will take care.